Hey guys, welcome to this week's gear review. This is my Vibe Seaghost 110. Sorry for all the junk that is currently attached to it or in the way. Uh, anyway, this is going to be a review of the Mod Pod 2 Center Console by H24 Outdoors. I'll put a link in the description of where to buy it. Uh, Plenty of videos out here. That's a Garmin uh, Striker 4 Plus CV mounted on a Yak Attack um, uh, gearhead for a Garmin, uh, for lack of better words. I don't, I don't remember what you call it. Anyway, back to the Mod Pod 2. Uh, really nice center console. Has a locking attachment here. You can open that. Plenty of storage. It's uh, Probably two inches deep by eight inches. Uh, your cell phone will go in there, keys, wallet, uh, all of the above. Uh, it does not have a gasket in here, uh, but you can add a little weatherized weather strip, make it pretty watertight. A really nice lock on it there. Has a magnetized area here. You can throw a lure up there, it'll stick. It's a really strong magnet. Uh, of course, some little bungees here. This is a little Alltech uh, Bluetooth speaker, waterproof. They're about $20 at Amazon. Uh, really nice feature. They are completely waterproof. I don't think I would dive with them, but I've had them out in the rain. I've had them floating in the water, in the pool, that sort of thing. They work fine. Uh, back to the Mod Pod. You've got some gear tracks on either side. It's about an 8-inch strip. Obviously a cup holder. This little area here is for a... Uh, it's original intent and what I use it for is to store a, uh, store a Nakwa uh, a battery uh, pack. I have a 4 amp hour uh, Nakwa pack uh, that goes in there. Comes out here, uh, obviously hooks to the fish finder right there. Unplug it here, hook the charger to it. A um, fish finder comes to here, goes down the scupper. Vibes are pre-mounted, uh, or uh, they have a built-in area under the boat, under the kayak, under the hull for a uh, transducer. So that's just the transducer cable down there. As you know, the uh, most of you should know, the Mod Pod 2 center console, which is what you're looking at, is not designed for a Vibe Seaghost. It is actually designed for some other type of, of kayak, and I forget the name of that brand of that. But So you have to do a little bit of modifications. Uh, specifically, you see that cut right there. Uh, you have to Dremel that out. Uh, or cut it out. I dremeled it, and the reason being, I'm going to be hard pushed to do this, it hits right there on the edge of that. Uh, so you have to kind of dremel it out to uh, get that contour. As you can probably tell under there, you see the screws. I'm going to inset a couple of photographs uh, that I'll show you how to, to uh, get these shimmed out so the latch grabs it like that. And as you can tell, that's got plenty of bite. Uh, that works really well. 
all the way around. There's two on this side, two on the other side. I'm not going to go around to the other side. It's the same thing, but you can tell those grab pretty good. You see that one. You can see the cutout there where I had to cut it out as well. And again, that's just for the Vibe kayaks. You have to do that. Clips up nice. Unclips. Clips. Um, really nice. I can't say enough about it. Um, get this unhooked. Here, bear with me here. This thing has a tremendous amount of suction. As you can tell, I hope you can hear that. That flips all the way up. Has a really nice, if you can see that. Let me see if I can get some light on it for you. It's got a really thick, probably a full half inch wide rubber gasket all the way around. Uh, all kinds of junk in there. We'll go into that in another video. The only thing I dislike, if, if there is a dislike is when you close it typically one of these are going to wind up under it like this one did so you have to kind of work that out and then i'm going to be quiet and listen see if you guys can hear this air escaping out of here uh, not so much uh, but anyway that's how it locks down um I love them, guys. Again, it does take a little bit of modifications. They cost about $85. It's kind of aggravating that you have to spend $85 on a console and then bring it home and take a Dremel to it. But I knew that going into it, and uh, I think it's well worth it. Uh, it to me, it beats the original one and uh, just gives the, the kayak a really nice uh, look. Uh, you can get a lot of compliments on it. So anyway, thank you guys for joining me. More videos to come. So uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell. You guys know the drill so you get alerted to other fishing videos, gear modifications, and gear reviews. Uh, thank you guys for watching.